Hi, I'm going to show you two uses of spread notation. Here we have two exercises. The first is modifying a, an object or an array. We're going to take this array and append some new stuff to it. It's really simple. We just take array to change, spread it, and add an emoji next to it, like this. So when we give the array to our function, you can see the result on the right. You can of course add another emoji right behind, like this. We can do the same with an object. We have this object, which, which contains the fruit key, which is an array, and we're going to add a new fruit inside this array. So we're going to spread this object. We're going to take the fruit key, inside which there is an array, and this array, like the precedent function, we're going to spread everything that's it, that is inside, like this. And append a new fruit, which will be a kiwi. And you can see the result on the right. Now let's do the second exercise which is to pass an iterable as parameter to a function. So here we have our simple function, which only appends everything from the arguments together. We have three arguments and one array containing three items. If we pass to the function the array without spreading it, this happens. The function only recognizes one argument, so the other arguments are undefined. However, if we pass the array spread, like this, we can see that by spreading it, the function recognizes the three items inside the array as arguments. Now, let's try this with an object. This function, let's say, takes two keys from the galaxy object. The two keys are stars, which is an array, and Milky Way, which is a string. And here we're going to append Milky Way to the star array. We return stars, which will be spread, and append Milky Way, like this. So when we give galaxy to the function, We'll see the result on the right. Now let's try this with a string. So let's say I want to just return one argument of our function. To this function we're going to give save him, which is two characters, a string containing two characters. So if we spread this string will have this result. What I did is spread the string and then take only one character of this of this string. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.